what is up everybody we just had a tornado warning a pretty bad torrential downpour but i was driving out anyways my goal is to catch a spring salamander they're a big salamander get up to like eight inches they're orange they're really pretty but they're only found in the mountains in vermont might be a little bit tricky the water is like ripping right now we'll show you the river that's kind of the goal is to get a spring salamander i saw them i think they're really cool and if we can get a couple that'd be sweet so let's do it check out this bunch of these uh, oh there they all go that was crazy bunch of the butterflies kind of hanging out by this little sign I guess and you're probably trying to get some cover but there's one more still left in there really pretty so this is where we want to be and you can see that the river is unfortunately ripping uh, this is going to make catching salamanders, I think, a little bit tricky. Ah, oh, man, I don't think I'm able to cross this. Well, the first place was a bust. That rainstorm and tornado really kind of blew out that river. There's no way we were crossing it. So I'm going a little bit up the mountain, trying to get some higher elevation. Hopefully walk along a creek that we could actually flip some rocks and find some salamanders. Little red eft. He's starting to move. He's really starting to move because all that rain was pushing him. So put him back in. See you later. The red efts are out today. Look at this one. And there's another one right here. Oh my God, there's, an, there's three of them. There's two. These ones are kind of smaller. And number three, put them up over here. Three red Fs. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one right up here. Cool red F, that one's really pretty. Some nice big green frog up in here. Oh, missed him. Got him that time. Look at that big green frog. Kind of just hanging out in this little puddle. Amphibians are starting to move just because that rain that you could just sit, wait, and look. And this floor, the floor is just littered with these things. It's like a red eft mushroom. Look at him go. Yeah, so the red eft uh, is the terrestrial phase of the red spotted newt, but they also have that aquatic phase and they live as adults and lay eggs in vernal pools and ponds and they hatch larvae from the eggs um, and then will grow be adults move back to the pond and then complete the life cycle they'll lay their eggs again and live out as adults that one's pretty cool nice chunky one a twofer look how the colored variation too on them They're so pretty I'm here. Look at that little red aft. Well, unfortunately, this rain and the tornado warning kind of screwed up my day for catching a spring salamander. That's all right, it's to be continued. I'm gonna go back out when the water is a little bit lower and the streams are a little bit more weightable. All this rain really got these red Fs moving. I caught quite a few of them and it was, it's been a lot of fun catching these things. I'll release him. Um, I really want that spring salamander. I'm gonna get him. Uh, so stay tuned. Probably there will be a part two of this little episode. Uh, I gotta head back. I'm getting absolutely destroyed by mosquitoes. Uh, the rain also brings out the mosquitoes. So these mosquitoes are killing me. I got bit like 800 times. So we will see you for the spring salamander part two. We're gonna get this thing. What is up everybody? It is another day. Another day that I'm looking for spring salamanders. I'm out in the mountains. I'm trying to get some headwater streams. And uh, I struck out the first time, so this is my second day. I'm gonna see if I can find some, get on some rocks, flip some rocks, and uh, hopefully get a spring salamander. That's the goal. Oh, nice little red back. Nice little red back. Gotta love that salamander. Really a pretty one. All right, Mr. Redback, you're going back under. Put the log under. Back he goes. All 
Ah, oh, I got one. Let's go. This thing is a beast. Oh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Gorgeous looking salamander. I'm gonna get my little. It was under that big, big log from up in there. Perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. It's a pretty big one, it seems. Nice big spring salamander. How cool is this thing? Oh my gosh. What a gorgeous looking salamander. It was underneath that big rock. I didn't get the rock flip, unfortunately, but I did catch the salamander. They are slippery and they are so cool. Look how fast they are too. I mean, gorgeous looking salamander. Look at that thing. I love the look of this thing. This thing is a sweet looking salamander. They're fast. They this little headwater stream. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited right now. Big rock, you gotta flip some big rocks to get them. Look at that salamander. Gorgeous looking salamander, spring salamander. I love these things, they get pretty big. They go, get almost as big as the spotted salamanders. Wow, they are slippery though, holy moly. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back where he was found, right underneath this rock. Look at him go. How cool is that salamander? That is awesome. He's kind of tucking himself up in here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous looking salamander. Let's catch some more. Oh my lord, look at this one. That's a huge one right there. Oh my lordy, that's a good one. Oh, I just lost it. Okay, he's kind of tucking himself up over here. That's a big spring salamander, everyone. I don't want to lose it again. They are slippery. So I lifted this rock and I actually felt him underneath my foot. So let's see if I can get him in the net. Oh, there he goes. Let's see if I can get him. There we go. The second one. This one's even bigger than the last one. Holy moly, this is a good one. Look at that salamander. How cool is that? Thankfully I have the net. Wow, look at that thing. I mean, look at my hand compared to that. Whoa, is he fast. Holy moly. These things are slippery. They're slimy. I mean, these are so cool. I've caught some mud puppies before, but these might be my new favorite salamander. Just a big honking salamander. They get nice and big. Look at how cool they look. They like these cold water, headwater streams. Spring salamander, that's why they call them that. But wow, they're cool. Just kind of gliding along. Oh, there's one, smaller one. Nice, got him. This one looks like it's more larval, a larval stage one. So yeah, this is the larval stage, not as big as the other ones we got. Still very cool. Oh my Lord, are they slippery. You could see them in there. It's fogging up because this thing is so cold. But you can see the gills on it. Yeah, look at their gills, how cool is that? So they got little gills, they're almost like little mini, mini mud puppies. Yeah, look at that, little headwater stream at the base of a pool. And this salamander's just hanging out, probably waiting for some food just to kind of get pushed by. And what a gorgeous looking creature. Still got its gills on it. Really, look at this little mayfly, little bug kind of flying around, that's awesome too. But yeah, what a gorgeous, gorgeous salamander. I'm so excited I finally got these. These are so cool. So this is all jewelweed plant um, and some nice ferns. 
just up in this little headwater stream. This is so cool. Some of the coolest rock flipping I've done. All right, so this one had a nice worm in it. Beautiful looking worm, but they also had a little two line salamander. These things are always pretty fast. So there is a two line salamander population up here too in these little headwater streams. Look at that. Kind of a drab looking one, but they can get colored up nice and yellow, but still a nice little two lined. Pretty salamander. They like the streams. They like this little flowing water. All right, there's one that swam up right here. Let's see if we can get him in the net. Let's go, nice scoop. So another uh, juvenile, another larval phase. Let's see if we can get him in the underwater shot also. one up in here really nice looking one really pretty red look at him see if I can just shake him down oh nope Let's see if I can find him oh I see him okay he's kind of tucking tucking himself underneath the rocks are right here so let's see if we can kind of kick him got him okay nice Thought I was gonna lose this one, but wow. This is one of the prettier ones of today. Big spring salamander. That's what we wanna see. So, oh my gosh. How cool is that? I mean, they're so beautiful. Look at that, look at that salamander. Wow, that's a big one too. One of the bigger ones of the day, adult one. No gills on it. Wow, that's a gorgeous looking salamander. We're gonna re release him right up over here. Wow, is that cool. How sweet is that? Oh my lord, there's two of them. Holy moly, they're big ones. Whoa, that is freaking awesome. Let's see if I can get both of them. Whoa, now that is pretty amazing. That is pretty incredible. Holy moly. That is amazing. Two spring salamanders underneath this little rock right here. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, these are nice two big ones, two big adults. Let's put them in here. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Look at how pretty those salamanders are. They're so big too. I mean, look at these things. They're fast, they are super fast. But they are gorgeous too. Wow. Look at how cool these salamanders are. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I am in love with these things. Look at that gorgeous salamander. Oh, there's one. That's a big one. Missed him. Where did he go? I guess you're not gonna catch every one. So we'll let him go. So this is pretty much the headwaters right up here. End of our road for this little specific tributary. It's pretty cool to always get to a, a headwater of something. I mean, you could see the the spring of where this is actually coming from. Um, right up over here. Just this little spring right here. I mean, this is the headwaters of the stream. How cool is that? I mean, it's literally coming out of like a little tiny little seep. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. So just right here, 
where it's gushing out. That's the headwaters. Look at that, it's flowing. And this is what they like. That's what the spring salamanders really like. They like these cold little seeping streams. All right, so I made it to a bigger stream, nice bridge. And uh, we're gonna poke around here for a little bit, see if we can get any more of these spring salamanders. I saw a fish in here. I'm gonna stick my camera in just to see if I see any. I'll be pumped if I do. I'm sure the spring salamanders are in here, but it's gonna be tricky to catch them. As soon as you flip up that rock, that water's just gonna kind of blow the salamander right out, but they might like it here, but they, I think they like those headwater streams. All right, that's gonna be the end of the day. This was one of my favorite days of the year, of 2024 so far. Spring salamanders are so cool. I've been on a hunt for them. I struck out the first time. I'm so excited I got them today. I made it up in some headwater streams and that's where they were at. I also checked out a brook trout stream right now. It's just flowing a little bit too much. I don't think those spring salamanders want to live in there. They might be living in there also, but uh, I, I just think it's going to be hard for me to flip some rocks and then actually catch those. Saw some cool brook trout though, and they're definitely in there. It was an absolute gorgeous day. I love doing this. I hope this video inspires other people to get outside. Check out the cool things that nature has to offer. Uh, there's so much cool diversity and, and there's so many cool species to go out, catch, observe, and just enjoy uh, their beauty. So thank you so much everybody for watching. I really appreciate all the support and we'll see you next time.